Hey everybody. Temperature for November the 6th is 71 degrees. Humidity is 68%. It's about four o'clock. I believe I uh, left you all off with my, my duct work prior to abandoning this for a few good days so I could make my way up to the Air Force Museum. Do that. Just want to say thank you to the museum and the Museum Foundation for giving me that opportunity. I loved every minute of it. Well, here we are. Let's see if we can make sense out of this. Well, here we go. This is what I'm uh, modeling this duct work off of. This is, of course, an original piece of B36 duct work. Uh, that may be spot welded or crimped or somehow. It's a slightly lighter gauge aluminum that I'm using. But once again, I'm using what I've got on hand. But it's some kind of a, a nylon material or plasticky stuff with um, fiberglass insulation that covers the aluminum. So once I get all this done, I'm going to cover it with whatever material I can find that's closest to that with some insulation in there just to give it the, a really nice look. And here we are again. Once again, this comes from the, uh, the heat transfer system within the wings. And you got this junction here, which I'll go back to. And then two go off. One goes directly into the lower compartment underneath the flight deck. Another one goes to the lower. This one goes up over here. And then this one in the back is actually a T because in the back, it goes around here. This guy, he's gonna come out here and go this way. And he's gonna be for the, uh, the diffuser at the aircraft commander's feet in the console. This one goes up here. I haven't finished this yet, but it's gonna tee off kind of weird like that on both ends and then that goes into the canopy frame which is hollow and then air goes I don't think it goes up through the frames because you got to have this big piece of steel or aluminum in here that enables this big junction which is in the photographs so it's got to be something the little holes in between the inner and outer glazing panels that allows the heat to go up up to about there. These are all clear glazing or clear vision. But anyways, um, this one goes and it goes down to a diffuser down on the wall down there. So that is the main heat duct for the general heat of the uh, radar bomber navigation system or yeah, <coughs> compartment. This one goes directly to the nose glazing on either side. So you have no, uh, you have a port over there for the nose gunner, and on the opposite side, you have a port for the navigator. So what we can do is, is we're gonna have a flap in here that, that hinges here and goes up, and there's gonna be a line or a, whatever, a space for it to move for a handle. And that, you'll be able to select how much heat you wanna go through here, how much you want to go through here and you'll be able to cut this one off or cut this one off so if you were to cut this one off here all of your heat's going to go to the general lower heating of the lower compartment if you were to cut this one off the heat here will either be able to go to exclusively the nose glazing or the canopy glazing so this one is canopy now what you can do with this hinge or flap is you can cut of course direct all air to the nose glazing or direct all the air to the canopy this one works this one works by pulling a knob and moving it up or down and then releasing the spring-loaded knob and it'll catch this one has a different type of knob which is going to be linked 
via a rod from here to about right there where there's another spring-loaded knob that lives on the A-frame for the rudder pedal assemblies. So that's where we're at. This stuff's in here nice and nice and good, and these are just temporary to hold it in, but these things come in, pop out like, like they're made to go in there, which they are, but no difficulty experienced in general. Uh, the last thing I need to do is connect it, goes up, and then boom, through bulkhead 3.0. Then I'll be able to pipe or pump heat through here, which would be pretty neat. Once I get the uh, diffusers up and operational, I can put some little streamers on here and we can watch this stuff work. But there we are. And I'll see y'all next time.